So welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at the very eagerly and long-awaited Aliens, Another Glorious Day in the Core from Gale Force 9. This is a cooperative survival game. Now, this is not the typical historical war games we cover on here, but this is something that Grant's had his eye on quite literally for years now, uh, and we've been trying to get a, get a test in, a te play test in at like Gen Con, and just haven't been able to get it done. But the game finally shipped, <clears throat> so I wanted to go through this because I'm going to put together the stuff in here and paint it all, and we're going to play it, and I hope it lives up to the insane hype that we've built up. So, uh, another glorious day in the core. This is a co-op game, and it can support, I believe, we'll just double check, he says, it can support up to six players. Um, so you can have a lot of people, or you can play it, you know, solo, and just, because it's you against, kind of, the, the AI aliens, basically. Um, so this is a game that has miniatures in it, and they do come in plastic sprues, so you have to cut them off, glue them together and stick them together. So that might be a barrier of entry to some people who just have, have any interest in doing that. But you can just glue them together and call it good if that's all you want to do. I'm going to sit here and paint them all because I love the hobby aspect of this hobby, basically. I do enjoy that. Um, so that's basically what that is. That's an instruction guide. Then we have a rule book. And the rule book, it's a short-ish, a small, well, it's a small rule book with a lot of diagrams and pictures. There aren't actually all that many rules, even though the rule book is close to, to 30 pages, about 27, 28 pages. But it walks you how to play the games, how to set them up. Uh, there is a campaign variant where you play through the story of aliens. So you, the first mission is trying to go in and find Newt, then you've got to escape, then you just got to survive the onslaught of the aliens in, in the last mission. But then there's also a separate bug hunt missions, which are standalone, you just, it's, it, it's survival. Can you kill everyone? Can you last until everyone you've killed all the aliens, basically? So, <clears throat> here we have, these are the scenario mission setup charts. And there's, there's a bunch of these. So, the first three, we have mission one, Newt, mission two, escape, mission three, survive. This is kind of the narrative um, of a uh, storyline campaign of the, uh, of the movie. So, you're going to play these three, you, you can play them on your own if you want, but you can play them linked as a campaign where guys who survive survive, guys who die die, or, and uh, you know, the story progresses. So that's these, and it shows you the board setup, and then a little setup key as to the different exits and the different uh, blips that start on the map and all that kind of stuff. And then you get uh, special rules and all that kind of stuff on the back of these. Then, we have, these are the standalone missions. So there's a couple of different types. So there's a rescue mission, then there's a supply mission, and then there's a whole bunch of different uh, bug hunts. So this one's at Hadley's Hope, so is this one. Is that just, are those the same? Now uh, that might be, that might be, uh, accidentally we've printed two of those. Okay, not sure about that one. Uh, but then we've got Atmosphere Processing Plant, Outpost Alpha 116, and then a Supply Depot. So there's a, there is, th there is a good number of scenarios in here which should help replay value as well, which I appreciate. Then we have, excuse the noise, very loud, we have, uh, here's all the cardboard. And these are dual-sided um, tiles. And the tiles all have a bunch of squares on them. And, and obviously borders, so this is kind of the play area inside. And these are geomorphic, so you're going to line these up based on whatever the scenario tells you to do. The artwork on these is very nice. It's, you know, it's it, exactly what you'd expect from kind of sci-fi tiles, and especially from Alien. It's kind of dark, there's lots of blue hues on them. And these are uh, pretty nice. They're very thick uh, grey cardboard. And there's a whole bunch of those. And then we've got, oh, before I mess everything up. So then we've got all of the different uh, bits and pieces which are on these cardboard sprues. Uh, so we've got a bunch of these alien markers here. These, it says 0, 1, 2 on the back. These are blank. Oh, that one's also got Newt on it. These are the blips. These are, so you, they move around as blips and then you'll flip them over and that's how many, presumably how many aliens models will, will be represented by that blip that you'll then put onto the map and have to kill. Um, there's some barricade markers, and probably some objectives of some form. 
Now what else have we got? Uh, there's a bunch of these dials, which you're going to put onto things like your remote sentry weapon. So this is going to track how much ammunition's been used, how many reloads you've got. Um, I presume this is probably health points for the player characters as well. And then you've got, these are the little player boards, and we'll just punch one of these. He says, so we got Vasquez here. And let's see, so this is Private Vasquez. Weapon, backup, equipment, 5 and 8, 4, 4, 2. I don't know if this is a variant or if this is you start as a grunt and then you get you might get uh, promoted if you're playing the campaign game. Not entirely sure on that one. But they're all here. We got uh, Scott Groman, Frosty Frost, Hudson, Ripley, Hicks, and well, let's see, we did have Newt over here as well. It looks like that's all of our player characters. The Donna cardboard and these little um, these spinners, you put them together, you get this little bag of uh, I don't know what you'd call these, but they're like little um, joining washer type things where you, you put them together so that they can spin, so they're not entirely uh, stuck together basically. So you do have to assemble those as well. Now we have dice in the, in the box, we have one D6, and this is a black D6, or a very very dark grey with these nice cool alien green looking numbers, like that. And then we got two D10s, and these have a star value on them, uh, and they do go up to ten as well. So we got two of those. Then there's two decks of cards, or well there's two sets of cards and looks like some uh, play aid references. Let's just open these. There's, I presume there's six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, because it can support each player. Alien phase, finish phase, uh, as in the end phase, not finish people. Uh, and then the marine phase. So this just is a, a learning guide of what to do. I, at some point you definitely won't need those. Then we have our this is our deck of weapons and items for the Colonial Marines. If I could open it, which I cannot, he says. Where's the little opening? Is it over here? Yeah, they always... I hate these. <laughs> okay. This is actually, uh, you thought it was an unboxing video, it's actually an hour and a half of watching me try to open this one bag of cards, and that's all this video is. Ah, there it is. He says, hey, you got it. Alright. So these are all the items, all the weapons and stuff, because I think a lot of, a lot of, especially with like the bug hunts, you just start off with like, uh, with a pistol sidearm and that's it. So you have to go out and find items and kind of get better and, and kill guys. So these are all the different weapons that you can get, different equipments that you can get, probably armor, radios, there's different events and things like that as well, and your and hazards. So you probably your setup's gonna dictate some of those that you get and you'll get more throughout the game. And then the other major deck here is the, uh, this is the Alien Blips deck. Is that on this side? I can't tell. It might be on the other side. It, so this this dictates alien movement. It is on here. If I could get it, which I cannot. Hmm. Once again, strap in for another hour and a half, my friends. Hey, did we get it? Come in. <laughs> Okay, so these are, I can get it open, there we go. I never want to see that again. So this is your blip deck, you'll recognize this from your kind of uh, movement sensors. These will get flipped, and I presume each character in line of sight of one or more aliens must discard one card. So bad stuff's gonna happen. I don't know if it reveals blips or tells you what how far they move. Yeah, this is a false alarm, so there's nothing there. I don't know if this tells you how much they move or 
you move blip number two. And I'm not entirely sure on that, but this is what this is this is basically the AI of the of the game. This dictates their movement. You as players control colonial marines. So the last thing that you've got in this box is a stack of sprues uh, with a little rubber band around them. And these are 28 millimeter miniatures. And they look a little bit smaller if you play a lot of war games because these are true 28 millimeter. I measured them and indeed. They're 28 millimeters up to the eyes. They're not some heroic scale. So they're not kind of oversized in the face or anything. But these are really, really nice. These are very well sculpted, especially for a board game. But these are done in hard plastic, so you can use uh, plastic cement to get them together. Uh, we're gonna cut off all the mold lines of these. I'm gonna paint these up. What I really, really like is you've got all the weapon attachments and, and heads that you're gonna put on. But the bases, A, have texture on them, but also has the name of each of the guys and gals. And so it'll be really quick and easy to reference who's who at the board, especially early on, and especially if you don't have these painted and they're all kind of green, it'll be easy to see. Just look at their base, you can tell who's who without getting them mixed up whilst you're learning the game. And the aliens, uh, there are four alien sprues, and I'll just kind of show you this. They're all identical. So we'll just look at one of them, and all three, all other three are identical. Again, these have really nice uh, textured sci-fi bases. And I don't know if you can see this on here, most of them have the two alien feet molded onto it, and next to it there's like a little sinkhole, uh, which is keying for the alien's legs that have a ball, so it's a little ball and socket joint that you'll be able to glue in for extra strength. Um, because of the spindly nature of these, I probably will just do that instead of pinning them, because uh, the drilling holes in these thin legs will be very difficult. But you can see, I don't know if you can see, we can pick up some of the detail. Just look at the texture and the molding on the alien's tail. I love that. Xenomorphs are very classical looking. They're really great. The detail molded on these is fantastic. It's gonna pick up, it's a really good uh, quick and dirty dry brush if you wanna do something like that. Uh, these are gonna look really fantastic once they're painted up. And um, we can get a little bit of detail on them as well. So that's everything that you get in Aliens, another glorious day in the core. Um, I'm hoping that we can just get some marines together and rock and roll and blow some aliens up and probably die in the process. I hope this game gives us a really good challenge. Uh, but that's th this game. You probably <laughs> you probably see a lot of tweets about this one of me painting these and us playing it eventually. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com.